This is Twit. Hi, Scott from Dayton, Ohio. Hi, Leo. Hi, Alex. Scott, do you have kids? You think they'd be interested in this? I don't have kids. Yeah. I think I could use it for martial arts training, though. Oh, that's interesting. You're a martial arts (laughs) instructor. Yes. What do you what what martial art do you teach? Uh, I train in a traditional Korean martial art called uh, Tang Sudo. It does kind of remind me of the ball that uh, Obi Wan Kenobi taught Luke. Yeah, if the you just force get the hover. If it would just float in space, how would how do you think you might use this in uh, in uh, instructing? Well, I actually started in a very confined space when when I started. We we trained in a basement and we actually had balls hung from the ceiling instead of heavy oh. bags to work on targeting. Yeah, and this uh, and this is uh, because it's got an accelerometer, and it's very sensitive to motion, but also be getting tapped and rotated. It's kind of cool. What can we do for you, Scott? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, as, as part of the martial arts instruction, uh, we've been starting to use video as an instructional tool. Um, it's really good when you're there with each other and you can take video and replay and and comment on on what you're doing and and. Students make improvements very quickly. Um, as a student myself, I'm a little bit separated from my instructor. He lives about an hour and a half away from me. Um, and so we're starting to collaborate with an asynchronous video collaboration where I can take video and then send it to him. And what we want to be able to do is for him to be able to make comments on that video that are time based. So right now we've been playing around with it a little bit and it's kind of difficult because, you know, we can take video very easily. We can share it. There's all kinds of tools to do that. Um, but then you kind of have to say, well, at 45 seconds, you did this, right. or you need to look at this. And and that's kind of difficult to get on the same page. So I'm looking for a tool, uh, kind of like commenting in a document where the comment is attached to what you're looking at. So so kind of a time-based commenting system for video to start with. You know, we're, I'm going to let you answer this because mm-hmm. this is your Alex's uh, Bailey work. <clears throat> you know, would this, would this work for you? I think about how maybe a soccer commentator or a football commentator would take a video Telestrated, right? Right. And I think that would be, it seems to me that your instructor, if he could have the video on a screen and, and, and say, see right here, your kick needs to be straighter and actually draw a line, annotate it with a pen and maybe be able to slow it down, speed it up, scrub through it and make a second video that has all of that. Yeah, Does absolutely. that sound like something you'd want to do, Scott? Yeah, that that sounds kind of perfect, and the easier the better because I'm I'm kind of a nerd and and I can handle a lot of the heavy lifting, but I, I kind of want to share this with other uh, instructors and and students as well. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking the Surface Studio or any uh, Windows device that has a pen. And and the pen the pen is useful. I think that um, to get started, I mean, if you don't want to have any any kind of hardware. Um, there is another. Uh, there's an app that we use in the in the visual effects industry and in, in the ad industry uh, online. I've actually and my parents oh, have actually used it. When you do your you do those commentaries. I, that's my own hardware. <laughs> I, that's very complicated. So Alex does something very similar. He'll look yep. at uh, TV, what newsrooms and yep. stuff, and and be snarky about it. And he'll <laughs> he'll I'm do just, it. Like, I'm giving constructive criticism. You, you'll do exactly that, yeah, though. You'll no, take I, a, a pen and you'll say, you see this? That's a terrible chroma key. Yeah, and so that that is a pretty custom-built okay. system that is, that I, that's not trivial to put together. Okay. And probably <laughs> so, not cheap either. Uh, no. Okay. No. But this one is. This one, this one actually is. Um, there's a, and what's interesting is the first Mac break that we ever did. Way back. Remember back at Macworld? And yeah. We, we ran around. And yeah. So uh, there was a guy that we worked with there, Emery Wells. Yeah. Remember Emery? I know Emery well. Emery created an app that is the perfect solution for what you what you need, and, so, and it's become kind of the standard within the ad community, visual effects, even people just doing edits. And it's called Frame.io, Frame.io, and uh, you can see it here on my on my laptop here. And this is my son actually getting uh, scanned at Pixel Guns. But I just grabbed a video so we, so we can show it. But what you can do is, if, and this is, I think it's free to start just doing basic ones. When you start adding larger teams, you have to start paying for it. But basically, you can scan through. You know, you can go here. You can just hit play if you want. And so you can kind of play here. Now, if you decide you want to draw on it, you just simply click this button. Oh, perfect. And now you can start to draw like this oh. here. See this? See his eyes are going this way or whatever. Now, when you did that, when you stopped and, um, and did that, if I hit send, it's actually, you see over here, it's actually time stamped that um, in the uh, here. So now you can jump. You can literally click to where... 
the, uh, you know, to where that is in the scene. So all the comments, you simply click on it and it jumps to that part of the video. Um, and if you want to draw on it, you can. You could put obviously more, more text in there. Um, so those are, those are, this is a really inexpensive, easy to use, works, it's a web-based app, so it's gonna work uh, anywhere. You can actually have, you'll see up here, I have a little uh, icon, I'm, I'm not logged in at the moment, but you can actually have it, have a watch folder, so it just, you just throw stuff into the watch folder, it automatically puts it up into the group. You can invite a bunch of people to, to be part of this. Um, we were doing an edit for my father, and we actually, um, my, my dad and my mom actually used it and gave all their comments and circled things and everything else. So it's very easy to use um, and re relatively inexpensive. I think that... A any computer would be able to do this as long as you have a browser, right? Any browser. It works on every browser. It is super slick. Um, so I guess there's a start starter plan, $15 a month. But I think you can download it and there's some They've kind got of... Two you can test trial. it for free, yeah. yeah. One project. I, I, you know, so you can do a couple things with it to, to try it out. Um, it is... Uh, it's super smooth. It works really well. Emery's got it. He comes from out of the uh, really the design world, so everything just works really well. I mean, this is the apple of feedback tools. And um, anyway, it's used a lot in our industry. Uh, it just came out a couple years ago and has really picked up speed. Um, you know, they had a big, uh, they raised a lot of money, so now can there's you, a lot of hardware behind it. The one thing I can imagine is, like for instance, Scott would do a kick and you'd like to see that whole kick you can't do you can't annotate a motion you can only annotate a frame currently yeah and currently that's the that's the thing it'll be hard to draw on it while it's moving yeah, as well yeah. so uh, so that you're gonna tip, you're gonna oftentimes stop you know while it's working anyway right. um, but you can hit play and get to where you want and, and you can have multiple annotations because what you're really going to look at right is your, where your your hips are or where your you know your center exactly. of gravity is um, where your shoulders are your the extension out those types of things are going to be things you want to say well look at how you're not pulling all the way out or your hand you know your thumb is in like this or you know all those all those little things <laughs> <laughs> you could in a very primitive way sort of do this if you had a camera a video camera even on a smartphone and a, and a tablet like let's say an iPad with a pencil he could watch the video, record him watching the video, stop, scrub, yep. annotate it with a pen, and just record a video of him, of the sensei going through all of that, and then send the video back. Yes, but it'd be kind of a, a, it's a just, primitive way of doing it. Yeah, you could definitely do it without any. You could definitely grab that and, and kind of draw on it. Yeah. You're right. A surface would would do it as well. Uh, the the nice thing about this is you just upload the video and you see everyone. I kind of like that. It. It's really I kind of like that. It, it works simple. super super yeah. smooth. Yeah. Um, and it's one of those things that when I first when it first came out, I was like, I don't really get it. And now, I mean, we use it for every every project. No, just because I'm curious. When you do the annotations that you do, you still do those? Those? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I took a little time off. What do you I, call that? Uh, it's called the teardown. It's on it's on our, it's on our Pixel Core channel on uh, YouTube, and uh, I. Uh, uh, what happened was I, I I'm I'll play, a little rough. I'll play a little bit of I complain it, a lot when I watch TV, and this someone is, said you should record. This is that. why you don't want to sit one. down next to Here Alex. An open animation. Now, what we're trying to do is get to this master frame. This news. is the master frame here. This is where you want. And this is exactly. So what you, do is right. you set this as a keyframe, and then you and it's a very fairly straightforward. You set that keyframe, and then you back up. And you set all your keyframes. So, so Alex all talking about how they do here. the graphics. This is up yeah, here. Yeah, I'm talking about the end show. This, this the idea was not so much to complain to completely, but, but also talk about how it works. So you set all um, those up. And, uh, and you set those keyframes. And I think there's a part here where I complain the about there. Where you'll see where I get kind of. It gets snarky. There, this is this is it. If you get that, you know, those long polygons in there, you're going to end up with aliasing, which Look is exactly I... what you see here. <laughs> and the best way to fix that is to fix the geometry and then render it again. Nobody ever saw it. <laughs> so close. So, um, so now uh, let's move forward with these, uh, this basic animation here. So, so this, is, this is and exactly in a different field, exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. But absolutely. what do you use to do this? I mean, it's, it's a lot of Telestrator, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of hardware that I built from scratch yeah. to, to make yeah. that work. Yeah. Um, it, it does a lot of other things, and we're in the middle of... Uh, writing the patents so i can't talk oh. about it on the show so anyway so but uh but anyway but it's uh, uh but right now but that version is just a telestrator and but it, it's a homemade telestrator for that i'm just trying to think if there's any other you know i use it all the time when i use my surface studio i can capture a frame and annotate it and I, that's a really nice feature i think the surface does a lot of great things you know um with that it's it is. Uh, it's just a matter of where the hardware is. You yeah. know, the, the nice thing about doing something on the web um, is that 
You this seems you, like the you easiest. You can do it. Absolutely. And, you know, you can just easily, anywhere you're at, you can just kind of open it up and work, work through it. I think that, that you definitely could build hardware that, was, that gave you better feedback. The other thing that's going to be interesting, the, the thing that I'm interested in when I was thinking about your, your question is if you matched, if you took something like uh, Oculus Medium, you know, uh, and you had motion capture, which will eventually the motion capture suits, the, the, um, especially ext um, extends, I think, uh, these motion capture suits that you put on, you could theoretically be watching your instructor do the, mo do the moves, and then you, can, you could do them, and the, mar and, the, and the martial art, your instructor could put a, your headset on and literally in 3D be drawing the, you know, drawing the correction, you know, and drawing the lines of where you want to go and so on and so forth. And I think that that may sound really out there right now, but I think we're probably less than five years from someone you know, doing that. It feels like this is a kind of collaboration you're going to see a lot more of. This is a really great way to do teaching and instructing. And I think this is where AR and VR are going to be really, really oh, interesting. Oh, imagine you know, that. that's the, yeah. you know, I think that that's yeah. the, the, the piece where we really start to, especially as the headsets get more sleek and less bulky, that you could wear them while you're doing a, doing a form. You know, you and could be able to, you know, do, that, there'd be a yeah. lot more that you could yeah. be done. So uh, We've already started playing with... Um, with a little bit of markerless motion capture, a little bit, but wow. the the inexpensive hardware that you can get, uh, it's just not quite there yet. And then the software to really do it is kind of out of my price range right now. So, but I played around with it a little bit just using um, Xbox and Sony cameras. Yeah, we we brought my my cousin is a fifth degree uh, black belt in Um Yung Do, and um, and he uh, came out and we we. A pretty big motion capture system. We put it. We had him do it, and it's just amazing. Just to get it on. Just to, just to capture it. Yeah. yeah, and it was yeah. and it was just amazing to. You, the, what's interesting is is that it captures so much detail that, um, uh, and we bought the motion capture system to exercise motion capture. You know, and it tells you like where those hips are, which makes all the difference. You know, um, whether you're doing an exercise or a martial arts move, um, where are your hips? Where is your, your your mass? And you can see all of that. And um, and then when you start to we we, we did. A piece where we took the markers and we just started doing traces, you know, where it just leaves a line, <laughs> and, it, and it just becomes you, you suddenly becomes this, this huge motion, and yeah. it's beautiful when the person who does it is good at it, and horrible when people like me do it, <laughs> you know, like you know, and so it's a so, but you really see where the kinks are, and like when you do the traces, when someone's doing this, you'll see the kinks in in their motion, where and then what what we exactly. what you could go back and look at is when you look at those kinks you can see, oh, well, their shoulder started off a little too far this way. And you can make corrections that would be very difficult to make in uh, real time. You I know, like it, you there's stuff like this for golfers. Oh, yeah. Well, golfers. Swing there's, analysis. There's whole. Batting, batters, major colleges, league baseball. Colleges, colleges and pros, I mean, they have all kinds yeah, of these yeah. tools that are analyzing the swing, analyzing the throw, analyzing the jump. All of right. those things are being done all the time. It's amazing. So frame.io yep. sounds like. The free version. I might think be that's a good the easiest. Start. The free version is the place to start. Um, see if you like it. Uh, the base version isn't very expensive. It's a. It's just the easiest, quickest way to um, to do this. That's I don't. I couldn't cool. think of any other like no. quick and easy way to, to put yeah. it together. And that's nice. You could even do it with students because all they need is a browser. So you yep. could, you know once you've got the video, you put it in there. You can send them a link and they can look at the commentary. And you can see that it works on. You can also look at it on your phone, on nice. your iPad. So, Emery did a nice job with that. That's cool. Yeah. Hey. Glad we could give them a, a quick plug. question about that. If if you have that set up and you have an account, can you invite another commenter to come in, like either the student or maybe a second instructor? Yep, absolutely. So I think that the okay. way the way I think it works is that you pay to have you can have X number of collaborators per you know depending on your membership, um, but, but it's all part of that. And I, I can't remember exactly what the what the okay. the billing is, but. Uh, there you go. You got ten collaborators. Uh, so the starter plan you'd have, you could put up to ten gigs of storage. You can have up to three projects at a time. Um, so remember, remember that you can. Um, uh, a project to be one video. One well, a project student. a project could be you could have a you could have a project that is all of our work together, and then you can put up to ten gigs of oh, of videos okay. up as one project. So, so one, that would be enough for, but a, it'd be for like, a class. Exactly. And then you yeah. can have collaborators, right. you know, up to 10 collaborators at a time talking through it. So I think one, one basic membership would be probably all you needed to get started unless it really turns into a big deal and then it would not be a big That's deal neat. to add more. Right. Scott, you're a chemist, I'm told. You work for the uh, Department yes, of I Defense. Am. That, yes, I am. Can you explain what's going on in the periodic table of elements in your T-shirt? It doesn't uh, look good. <laughs> Well, in this particular one, uh, Chuck Norris is uh, oh 
destroying the periodic table. It, that's the element Chuck Norium. So he's 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 doubly radioactive. So <laughs> you don't want any Chuck Norium. This is good. This is a good lesson. Never get any Chuck Norium in your period. It's such a great mix of, of, of chemist and martial artist. I just I, uh, it's perfect. exactly it's perfect. your T-shirts. Scott. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> hey, it's great to talk to you. Thanks for calling. I appreciate it. Thank you both very much. That's Absolutely. a great answer. I like Framio, and I'm yeah. glad. I remember Emily very well. He was great. Yeah. yeah.